Vicky Peterson. Vicky, if I uh, start with you, would you introduce me to your friends and associates around the line? I sure will. This is a friend of mine, Debbie Peterson. She's my sister. <laughs> I hope she's a friend <laughs> of yours. Yes. And next. Susanna Hoffs. Thank you, Susanna. And Annette Zelinskis. Hello, Annette. Uh, I'll jump this thing around while you catch your breath a second. How long have you played together? For about two and a half years. But you've been all playing music much longer oh, than that. Since we were kids, all of us have been. You just finished a tour with the, what was the beat, or the English beat. Did you learn anything out there on the road with them? Yes, we do. We learned a lot of things. Just how to, you know, play to a lot of different people and how to react towards uh, audience that was used to beat, you know, beat audience, yeah. not our own audience. You know, that's strange because when you go out and you're the opener, right away the, there's a little antagonism there. Did you get over that? We got over it. You have yeah. to get over it. And I think about 80% of the time we won them over. Yeah, uh, we were trying to finger over there why the L.A. music scene is an important thing going on these days. Why, what, to what do you attribute a lot of people looking at Los Angeles' music these days? Um, I think there's a lot of young bands that are all starting out coming out about last year, there was a yeah. lot of new things happening and it's just real exciting to people. You know, the great thing that happened with you folks is your record came out, it was immediately played on a lot of important radio stations. That doesn't happen anymore. How do you feel? I mean, you got the mystique or the magic or what? It was completely exciting because as you know, radio is so constricted right now, it's hard to get any new product on. And any radio station that opened up to our record, it just made us very excited and we hope that this will continue to grow and this is a trend. You know, it's, most people don't spend a lot of time worrying about this except the bands and the musicians. In the old days, you took your record to Cincinnati. If they didn't like it there, they played it in Cleveland. If they didn't like it, they played it in Dubuque. Mm. But nowadays, oy. where are you going to be tonight? At the Roxy. Now, that's for our friends who live in this area. Now, is that a one-night thing? Yeah, that's one night, yeah. as far as I know. You've played there before, haven't you? Oh, yeah, we played there several times. We look forward to it. I, you've been left out, Debbie.